morning, it's July 5th. I just uh, recorded the section that was at the beginning of where everything got all flaky. If I remember to edit properly. This is the 13th file on this camera. I've got files on that camera. I've got files on the handheld. I've got still pictures. I've got files on this camera. It's going to be a mess because I hadn't done any editing all week. Uh, so that's why I recorded the opening for that this morning. To let you understand why everything was a mess. We've been off for a whole week. So I've been recording. I just hadn't been editing. The computer's been inside the house. And I've been trying to get iTunes straightened out for Chris's iPod. Before I forget, take it out of my pocket. Uh, so she could get music that she likes on there. She didn't like the music I put on there. And it was acting all weird and flaky. Wanted to do everything off the cloud. So I completely wiped everything. And I completely undid iTunes. Then I went and had to delete duplicates that I had from transferring files back and forth to different external hard drives and stuff. And uh, so the laptop's been busy doing other things. And we had a bunch of running around to do, different things. We had Rosa's, or Chris's mom's birthday party Saturday night on the 4th. Didn't get as much flying in as I wanted. I only got two or three flights in. Didn't even take up the old quad. Uh, because it's been so windy this week. So, basically what I did is set it on the bed. Without the props on it. Ran the motors on high. To run the batteries down to storage level. And that way I can put it up for sale. batteries won't be puffing up because they're charged up. Whew. It's been a hectic week. I've been exhausted most of the week from the weather, from the heat. I don't want to take off here in the middle of summer again. It's too damn hot. Oh, lordy. The Vegas is just as bad, so. But then again, it's the middle of summer, so I either got the extreme heat and some humidity here, the more extreme heat in Vegas with no humidity, or a good amount of heat and a boatload of humidity in Tennessee. Next summer, we're going on a vacation somewhere else by ourselves but it's still been an enjoyable week it really was all things considered it's been an enjoyable week now first thing this morning we had to take care of some personal business Chris's youngest son Matthew passed away eight years ago wanted his ashes spread in the dunes, Imperial Dunes, Glamis. It's 25 miles away from here. And we had his urn in Vegas with his brother. And a couple of small ones with other family members. So we got them all together finally. And this morning Chris and I went up to the dunes and scattered his ashes. That was real hard. Brings it back to day one kind of kind of deal. 
uh, he said he wanted to be cremated and he wanted his ashes scattered in the dunes if anything ever happened to him. It took a long time for us to get around to doing it. Mostly because it was real hard to do. Chris finally came to the point that she was ready to let go and do it. And it was still hard for me too. So it was just me, Chris, and Alizé. Alizé never knew Matthew. going on had fun running in the deep loose sand loose not blue loose sand I know huh. I did say loose originally and I know it might have sounded like I said deep blue sand but it was deep loose sand uh, she likes playing in the snow so probably as far as she concerned uh, this was snow that was not cold that was the only good thing about going up there. Was watching Alize play and run around. Then while we were doing what we had to do, I told her to sit down and she sat there and behaved and just sat there and watched us. She figured out something was going on. And when we were all done walking back, she got back into play mode. Um, we went to the overlook and climbed the tallest dune that was out there. Not easy to do. But we got it done. So our next load is going, we're picking up in King City, California. That's 460 miles. And then we're going to Morrow, Georgia to the place I'm always arguing with them about my damn load locks. These guys try to steal our load locks. Got some more stuff to put up and I'll be done. So, you won't see me again until this evening. Hello, baby. <laughs> and look who's asleep. I'm her bed. Hi. She was asleep. Hi. <laughs> look at that. Oh, how hot is it? 81. Not bad. A whole lot better than 100. Six to 109 we had this weekend. That still was nothing. <laughs> Back in 1966, at this time, it was 116. Back in 1966, at this time, I was a month shy of two years old. And in Germany, where it was a beautiful 80 degrees. Los Angeles mountains. Don't know if you can see for the glare. Sorry for the bugs. Stuff on the windshield. Whoa, big bump. Trying to get out of LA and then we're going to do shift change. Good evening. We are about 25 miles outside of Paso Robles. There we got 50 more miles to our pickup location in King City, where we're going to get about 20,000 pounds of lettuce. Uh, I'm hoping they have our trailer preloaded. Uh, we just passed the intersection where James Dean died. James Dean Memorial Intersection. U.S. 
79 here right now. 8 p.m. local time. Cows. Baby cows. How is they getting excited? She heard me. You can't jump up on the seat my laptop sitting there. So once we get loaded, I'm going to go as far as I can. Our Qualcomm messed up this morning. When I switched drivers, it didn't switch. Uh, I've had it on me, excuse me, for off-duty driving all week. And I switched it over to Chris, it didn't take. So Chris was driving on my clock and it kept throwing passenger errors and all this other kind of weirdness at us. So I've only got another five hours that I can drive because it cannot be fixed until tomorrow when somebody from safety comes in and by then it's too late to worry about fixing it. So I'm going to go pick up our load, try to make it back to Lost Hills. If our trailer is preloaded, I will be able to do that. If it is not preloaded, I may run out of hours right there. So, uh, we'll have to see what comes of it. Okay, dude, step on the pedal on the right. If you're gonna pull out all the way, make an illegal turn with your little old scumbag sticker on the back of your little Subaru, well ought to push on that right pedal. Ugh. Drives me nuts when people do that. He's supposed to turn into a turning lane. But he jumped all the way out into my lane and cut me off. But, anyway, we'll see how far we can go tonight. And once I stop, I have to get on editing videos. I am so far behind and I've got stuff on every camera and I gotta figure out what's what. So this is gonna be a bit of a mess. I'm probably gonna have to rename the files on the card in order to be able to get everything into in a somewhat sensible manner and then go through all sorts of Hades when I'm editing this stuff up. So hopefully I'll be back on track and have this stuff the way it's supposed to be again.
trailer was preloaded. Counting a restroom stop, 22 minutes from the time that I pulled in to right now. Pulling out of the gate. In one quarter mile, turn left on Meds Road. Uh-oh, we ain't allowed to go that way. <laughs> so, yay. I've got three hours of drive time left. I know I can make it back to Lost Hills. Uh, our weight's 64,000 pounds total. And they say that I got 25,000 pounds on. And that ain't true. I got 32,000 pounds on. We're still well within legal. We can put on another 16,000 pounds and stay legal. Uh, so it's haul butt mode. In Try one to get quarter us. Mile, we'll turn right on hush, Water hush, Road. Hush, you be quiet. I know how to get out of here. Okay. Uh, we got 2,445 miles to go. And let me see what route they're wanting us to go. Map. Wants us to run across 40 all the way to Nashville. Drop down 24 into Atlanta. We may uh, modify that a little bit and shorten it up a hair. Uh, but we got a long way to go. And the Qualcomm messing up. It's costing us time. It's costing us about three hours, so about 150 miles of California speed. But we'll be able to make that up and still be there Thursday morning. Oh, dark 30. Well, I made it as far as Bakersfield. Good to be back on the road, but oi, <laughs> the jet lag thing and trying to get my sleep schedule back right. I'm tired, so now I gotta plug my computer back up and commence uh, transferring files and try to get at least one video edited right now and as soon as that one gets done editing I'm gonna have to edit another one boy oh boy anyway I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please share